These are bonobos, sometimes called pygmy chimps. In this society, the females are in charge, and sex rather than violence is used to keep order. Most animals only have sex to have babies, but not bonobos. And they do it face to face. It's shocking to see the youngsters present, but sex is used to cement relationships among the whole group. Friendships are reaffirmed, and disputes are settled with sex. If a male does get aggressive, a quickie soon calms him down. But there's one thing they do that really strikes a chord. They often walk upright, which leaves their hands free for carrying food. One theory suggests that our ancestors first stood upright in order to carry food back to the family. If you can make gathering food easier, there's more time to relax, socialise, and even plan ahead. One of the things I find most striking about chimpanzees is they don't just do, they think. They'll often just sit for long periods of time contemplating the world around them. What are they thinking about? What sense do they make of it all? What does a chimp think when it looks out at the world beyond the forest, the human world? It's impossible to say for sure, but when faced with the power of nature, they do something quite extraordinary. They react in a way that seems to acknowledge forces beyond themselves. A researcher captured on video one such instance at a waterfall. Almost every time they come across this waterfall, whether in a group or even if completely alone like this male, the chimps perform this acrobatic display. It's as if they're moved by the noise and spectacle of the water. Human cultures across the world have worshipped the forces of nature, the energy of a waterfall, or the power of the sun. Are these chimps inspired by the same feeling?